CAA First Look is here at Foreman Field, home to the team that will be joining CAA football for the first time this year, the Old Dominion Monarchs. I'm here with quarterback Thomas DeMarco and linebacker Craig Wilkins. Fellas, let me first welcome you to the league. I know you guys are pumped up, ready to go. DeMarco looks fine. Let's start with the story here. Old Dominion football, very successful in its first two years. Let's start with your story, Thomas. Why did you choose Old Dominion? final decision was probably meeting the coaching staff um, along with uh, knowing that academically it was going to match as well uh, the area, uh, closeness to the beach, uh, the ability to play in front of 20,000 people, everything just fit perfectly for me. And Craig, you've been here since the beginning. You, know, you talk about the, the countdown to the first kickoff. Talk about the beginning stages of the football program a little bit. Um, this program has came a long way. When I first got here, it was gravels and rocks where we're sitting at right now. So the stadium wasn't done. Pretty much bought a dream that I was so, and I'm glad I did. Uh, we came a long way since day one, August 13, 2008. Um, we've progressed, the talent has progressed, you know. Recruiting is much easier now because it's not selling someone nothing. They actually get physical, the tangible things, you know. And everything's pretty great now. There's no, tr there's no tradition, you have to kind of build your own. Craig, talk about the beginning stages of the program and some of the tough times you guys had initially. Still kind of a problem now, actually, because <laughs> you know, we've only been two years in, there's no like set traditions, you know, some teams have team claps or certain like team things they do. We're starting to develop ours, you know, as we go along. But in the beginning, yeah, it was kind of tough because no one really knew each other. But most of the guys from the area, they knew each other from high school football and stuff. So, you know, you got to know some of the teammates, everybody started to mesh in jail. And there's been a lot of different faces come through this program. I've seen many people come and go. But for the most part, as a team, we, we, we bond pretty well. We're a pretty good family, I believe. And you've been here since the beginning. You were talking to me about how there was a clock that said 342 days until the first ODU football game. What was it like that season? not being able to play anyone and always having to play kind of each other? Uh, it, was, it was a long fall. You know, just we practiced three times a week, hit, hitting up on the same person every week. It gets old after a while. Then on Saturdays, we had Saturday workouts. So while everybody else plays on Saturday, we were working out Saturday morning. And before every, every time before we went to go run, I always remember Coach Wilder to tell us who's playing, who in the CAA, what the weather's like. And I think to myself, like, I feel like this, we're never going to be in conference. Like, this year would never come. It felt, it was a long time coming. Talk about the community a little bit. Going into the first year of playing CAA football, talk about the community and how it's rallied around the team and the players as, as the first year of conference play is about to begin. Well, yeah, it's one thing to have a bunch of coaches tell you that you're going to have, you know, uh, community support. It's another thing to, to see it, to see it for the first day, uh, see it with leading up to the first game. Uh, you know, we do the Monarch Walk before the game, and just seeing two, three, four thousand people out there, uh, people enjoying themselves, getting out there just as early as, you know, 10, 11 o'clock, having barbecues, uh, running through the tunnel, and just hearing 20,000 people. You know, it, it finally matched the recruiting strategy of saying you're going to do that to actually seeing it happen and just knowing that that's what I've wanted to do my entire life and having the ability to do that every weekend. You can sense the excitement among the, among the fans, you know, everybody's asking, are y'all ready? You know, among the coaches also. So pretty much, especially this winter, winter was definitely the point where it finally sunk in that we're about to go in conference because the coaches preached it a lot, workouts were much harder. Everything has pretty much been stepped up a level or two because we're about to go in conference. You guys were one of the best upstart programs in FCS football history. How were you guys able to put it together in those first two seasons to have winning seasons in both seasons? I guess it comes from our team and our coaches. Our team, we're very competitive no matter what we do, you know, if it's basketball, paper football, anything we want to win. And having a bunch of guys who want to win, you know, no, no, one, no one loves to lose. And, and before we start playing, lots of fans would come up to us like, it's okay if you don't win, you know, we understand it's first year, but we never felt that way as players. We always knew that we were going to win because when you surround yourself with a bunch of winners, you're going to win. Tribe showing blitz, here they come. Hand off Goodwin. He's gone. You guys finished really strong last year on a five game winning streak. How huge is it for you guys to catch a little momentum going into this season? It's huge. Uh, the last thing that people remember is the fact that we won those last five games. You know, winning is in the back of most of our minds. It led to a uh, good momentum into the uh, offseason for the winter workouts, uh, getting bigger, faster, and stronger. It also led really well into summer workouts, 
the non-mandatory turned into, you know, a lot of guys kept coming up, a lot of people stayed here for the summer, and it's going to lead really into uh, camp. Were you surprised the team was picked preseason 10th in the polls coming into the year, or do you feel like you guys have something to prove, like, you know, you got to gain respect in this conference? I was not surprised at all. I'm actually surprised we weren't picked 11th, so, I mean, we already knew coming in this season, like, we weren't going to get ranked high. I wasn't expecting to get ranked high. We pretty much got to work for it, just like we did these past two years, and I probably would have ranked this the same way if we were new, and come, new coming into a conference, so I guess we have to earn our respect. And unfortunately for you, Thomas, this will be your only year to play in CA football. What are you looking to accomplish in your senior season, and what type of legacy would you like to leave here at Old Dominion? I, I want to be able to uh, to show that we can play at this level. You know, we had a good two years, uh, you know, best start our program ever, and that's an accomplishment, but that's done. So let's start with the uh, CAA coming in, earn the respect that we know that we deserve and know that we can get, and basically uh, moving forward, trying to show people that we can play at this level, especially from my personal opinion, is, uh, you know, I'm fortunate to have this opportunity to play, and I want to show that I'm able to play at this level. Well, guys, once again, Good luck, congratulations on your first two years. A very successful upstart program. We look forward to you guys being in the league this year and playing all the other CA football teams.